And I want to move out because my sister's mean. And Briar is like, I'm going to hack the school. They can't do this to me, okay? And right now, she's robbing money by hacking. Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of my not so berry challenge. And I have like so many thoughts, so much stuff I need to do. The first thing I'm thinking is why is Zane up watching TV? at 1am waking up two teenagers before they have to head into school and then i was like oh yeah it's my fault because he still got a toddler bed so the first thing i'm gonna do is get rid of this toddler bed also i kept my toddler stuff from the first generation of toddlers which was the twins actually yeah it was the twins because we didn't have lily as a toddler also my voice is a little bit scratchy so i apologize for that i don't need to keep them anymore because now that briar is an elder not briar is an elder no now that robin is an elder we're not gonna have any more toddlers ever again in this household, hopefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the room into a child's room. Now there are some other changes I wanna do with the rooms, but they're gonna be part of today's story. So give me a sec to get around to them. Also, I'm gonna be sending everyone back to bed because we do have school tomorrow. Briar is currently in a mean streak and you guys noticed that we started going into a mean streak. Oh my gosh, the rat just flew away. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Rat's also going to be a part of today's episode. You guys noticed that she went into the mean streak when she didn't get accepted into school. So <gasps> it's back. How did you get back in your cage? I don't know. So yeah, her reaction to not getting into like private school has really made her quite an angry person. Now she is a cheerful sim. So it's quite hard for cheerful sims to get angry. That's kind of her trait that she has to have of not so berry. So we're not seeing honestly too much meanness right now. I am noticing, however, she's still missing speckles. It could be the first rat that died, but I like to think it's speckles instead. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get her her pet for her generation of not so berry. In today's episode, as well i'm also noticing so i used to have a hamster in my bedroom she is trying to sleep right next to a rat in a wheel that is not easy to do particularly if you're a light sleeper might like me that is a really really tough thing to do the other thing you guys pointed out and i'm so thankful for everyone that told me this because i had no idea and i was so confused the preteen mod adds an invisible aging bar that you can't see, which is why when they aged up from preteens to teens, their age reset. Now, I actually have my teens set to be teenagers for longer anyway. So those three days that they were preteens have kind of messed with their age. So what I'm going to do is set them a little bit further into their age. So they're currently set to be nine days till they age up. So they've aged one day into their 10 day teen span. So if I do this to four, that gives them... Oh, have I done it one too far? Yeah, I've done it one too far. <laughs> okay, so now they're both four days into their current age span, which includes the one day they've been teenagers, plus the three days they have been preteens. Okay, yeah, both set to four. Perfect. In her dreams, she passed the test to get into the school. In reality, it's different. When she remembers that she didn't pass the test, she's going to be struggling with that. And I was like, she's also presents tomorrow. Excited about opening presents. And I'm like, wait, what is she talking about? Tomorrow is Christmas. I somehow completely missed out on the fact that it's Christmas. So while the kids are at school today, I will go ahead and decorate the house. But a lot of you guys really like the idea that maybe, maybe living in a space with a rat is starting to eke her out. Like it goes on its wheel all night next to her head it escapes in the room i mean it literally escaped in a rocket it literally escaped in a rocket the other day which also drove her completely mad and i think yeah she's just starting to get a little bit eked out about the fact that she has to sleep right next to a rat so we've kind of got a little plan for her today she is gonna skip school and kind of one take revenge on the school for not letting her in this is where i want her to start kind of oh why wow, bills have been shut off i was gonna be like i want her to start like hacking in to try and like change a school record or just mess with them to get back at it because we need a reason for her to get into hacking but we can't do that if i haven't paid my bills so let's go ahead and pay our bills please also robin is supposed to be going into work but when you are desperate to pee so i'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that interaction and now that you've got access to your phone again i am gonna make you retire you made it to chief but it isn't what you want to do anymore it's a lot of work and you will still get daily payments even if you retire so we're gonna go ahead and get robin to retire from her job whilst peeing you can't deny that that is efficient that is very efficient and they don't know she's not facing 
FaceTime with them. She's not on a Zoom call. They will we're never know retired. that she's doing a little casual poop while she retires. So there we go. We're retired. Kick back and relax, which I'm sure she's very happy about. But you don't get off scot-free because you do need to put up the decorations in the house. So let me go ahead and buy the decorations box. And then there's not enough room in this house for a Christmas tree. Let's face it, I don't know where you would even attempt to try and fit one. So why don't for this house, we go for like an outdoor tree? So we can still decorate and stuff because that's kind of fun. But it will be like outside the house instead. Maybe at the back here. And while Robin is out here putting up the decorations. Actually, can I do that with somebody? No, it's like a singular thing. Okay, let's do... We're on green gen now. So why don't we do green flavored decorations for Christmas? While you guys are doing that, Zane only aged up last episode. So I don't think he has his first day of school yet. But he does have his homework. So he can go ahead and maybe fill out an activity chart ready for tomorrow. Briar has a plan. Since we've skived off school today, we're going to be doing a little bit of switching around. So we're going to go ahead and take our bed, which is the bottom one here. She's a bottom bunk sleeper. We're going to move. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, I can move that in there. Okay, perfect. And we're going to grab Zane's bed and move that into here. I'm hoping it will work because it is a custom content bed. We shall see. She's like, my brothers and the rat can sleep in there. <laughs> I am going to sleep in here. I don't want to be in the room with you guys anymore. It's nothing to do with you, Forrest. It's everything to do with your pet rat and it's wheel. We're also going to take our sup and move this in here as well. So that means this is going to move into here. And since she is green gen, maybe whilst we're here, we can do a little bit of uh, redecorating as well. So I will keep the same like, so it looks like we've just painted the top half because I can't imagine pulling off all the boards in a day. I can't imagine doing a very thin light green layer. We've got our setup and I would also like to take our first steps into vibey lighting by getting rid of those lights Um, instead putting on because I want vibey lighting to be like a thing in her life, you know? I want to have this cool, like, hacker man lights. So I'm going to put this on the wall. I'll shrink it a bit. Over where we do our hacks. I'm going to change it to green glow so it's not pink as it is right now. And also we'll take our first steps as well into planty based lighting because i feel like this room is so much more vibey and uh, that light is so freaking cool that's from the planty pack and it's got a succulent in it and it has fairy lights in a jar which is the highest of vibes we'll change this to the color of this light will be green so the whole room now has this green feel which one do you guys prefer it gives the same glow i kind of think maybe that one because it lights up the desk a bit more look, look, look. Otherwise, the desk is kind of dark. And um, now it is, it feels more like her. Like the vibes feel more like her. So now that we've gone ahead and moved all the rooms over while our brother is at school, while Robin is distracted and while Luke is at school as well, I'm going to go ahead and lock this for everyone but Briar. I'm only doing this, by the way, because she's in a mean phase. Like, please don't think that she's actually a nasty person or a mean sim. She's in a mean phase and she already knows what where she wants to go. She wants to go to this university with the red little rig out here, which is not the University of Brightchester, which is where this picture is. It is... I want to say you bright. Is it called you bright? It's basically the one that I don't go to as often. So I'm kind of excited to go there. And you guys really like the idea of her setting up a sister sorority at the other university, which means we would finish not so berry having dominated both universities, which I think would be really cool. However, I'm not going to apply to scholarships before I can get some of my stats up a little bit. So I want to start like doing a few little hacks and stuff, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and learn how to mod games. Why don't we get her to learn how to mod The Sims? Because learning how to mod is a great way to learn how to program. And I'm not saying you should move on to hacking. I'm not saying that's like the next step, but it's going to increase her skills in programming and hopefully lead to her be able to do some cool hacks. Her current program is level three. So once I get her to like level five, then we'll start some hacks. And I want her to be able to hack her school. So I'm really hoping that's an option. Oh, somebody else has skived away from school as well. Jaden. Jaden is outside of our door, looking a bit sad, having also skived off school. The decorations are up, by the way. You didn't even do any on the house. I did tell her to. Oh, there's a few up there. But it's fine because Robin did the decorations. So having like actually sort of lazy decorations, it's kind of perfect. It's on brand, it's on storyline. Well done. Oh, and I think he's coming upstairs. What's he coming to do? Chat with Jaden. He's coming to have a little chit chat with us. I'm wondering what he thinks of our new vibey room. And yeah, I don't know why he's not at school. Let's speak some thoughts to him. Some angry thoughts about the fact that we didn't get into our school. You're really great, Jaden. <laughs> well, that's cute. What's... Oh, and are you still a preteen? Yeah, you don't need to be a preteen anymore. Let's remove the preteen trait from him as well. 
Oh, he just he just got taller. Okay, cool. He's not a preteen either. And oh, oh, no, not another little bullied baby. Last recess, nobody wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Why don't you ask other kids if you can join? Are you also gonna end up as like quite a shy kid? Yeah, he's not sociable, is he? He's creative, but he's not sociable. In fact, the fact that we've slightly moved him in here could actually be quite good because him and Forrest have a similar vibe. And I actually think Forrest has learned, although he's very bored right now, he's learned how to channel the fact that he's not as social into a creative outlet. So maybe this little cutie pie could do the same. And you know what I'm actually gonna do? I am gonna grab this, move it upstairs. That's boring for a kid's room. Let's put that in the adult's room. And then instead you can have your keyboard in your room ready to play. So as well, to help me out with things, I usually wait for likes or dislikes to pop up. But what I want to show you that I changed my cast background, I actually think I've got the color slightly wrong. I picked this one because I thought it would have more green. And like the intense green background was a bit much. So I thought this would be better, but I think there's too much blue in there. So let me know what you guys think. I might switch this to more green. But I did remember to change it at least. The other thing I'm going to do is... Go into her likes and dislikes and let's... First of all, we obviously like the color green because we're green, Jen. And I'm going to give her an interest in... See, I kind of feel like Hakin is sort of mischievous, you know? Robotics is a good one. Programming, yes. And I'm kind of thinking maybe electronica music as well because I can kind of imagine her like listening to it while she's hacking. I'm basically just using the matrix as a guide for this. <laughs> we're going to fully matrix her. Or she could program to metal. Would that be a bit manic though? I'm gonna try her out with Electronica in the, like I won't click it, I'll just play it and see how she feels. And then with Forrest, I think he already has some likes and dislikes. Yeah, he likes fitness and piano. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll kind of see what Zane does on his own. Okay, so Forrest is home and very stinky. And he's kind of gonna realize his twin sister's moved out. Now, I think even if she says this to him nicely, I know she's on a mean streak, but I don't think she'd be on a mean streak to Forrest. Like she just, she, he's a little like twin. No, he's an older twin brother, but she's like very, gentle with him and she likes looking after him so i don't think she would but he's gonna be hurt by it either way because he's just a soft soul even though he is going through a rebellious stage right now he's squeamish too but his is more like dirty plates and like the fact that he's stinky right now and like this would he'd hate the rat i don't think ekes him out oh and we've reached programming level five so we can now perform side jobs okay i want to try my first hacks then first hacks before christmas oh <gasps> and i can totally hack my school grades yes Maybe she never knows to go to school again and she can just hack every day and pretend she's at school. That would actually be amazing. So Forrest is like, he's had a bad day at school. His fun is low. I hate it here. I know that's because stuff's smelling, but I think it's because his sister's like left him and he feels really sad about that. So I'm going to get him to go and ask for reassurance from her being like, it's not me, is it? And she's like, no, it's just the rat. It's the rat, okay? It's your like little rocket ship rat. Who? Zane? seems less freaked out by. And sometimes kids that struggle with like, you know, other kids at school or people, sometimes animals are a really good outlet for them. So this could be just an all round perfect move. And it was inspired by you guys in the comments. The top comment actually suggested this. So thank you so much. Oh, look at this. I could not imagine my life without you. Do you feel the same way? And she's like, no, Forrest. We're twins. Like, you'll always be important in my life. I'm not always going to be by your side. I want to do my own thing. And right now, the thing I want to do is hack my school grades, okay? Even though I should have taken a shower this morning because I'm stinky right now. That's going to be eking him right out. I'm going to get him to de-stress by playing with emotion on his piano. And tomorrow is Christmas. So whilst the teens don't seem that interested in doing the tree, let's face it. Why don't we do like Robin, Zane and Luke do it together in instead. Robin's been writing comedy routines all day. Oh, she switched to playing Blicker Block. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys do the tree together. So yeah, this is when you really start to feel like teens. Teens just don't get quite as involved with like the activities that excite kids. I can't believe you're still dressing like your dad. That is just so freaking cute. Don't freeze out here, by the way. But yeah, Zane is like, oh, decorate the tree. So exciting. And Forrest is, nah, I want to play my piano. And I want to move out because my sister's mean. And Briar is like, I'm going to hack the school. They can't do this to me okay they can't i'll hack my grades and if she hacks her grades it'll help her with applying for scholarships for uni as well so it is actually very big brain <gasps> and now that i made her love programming this also gives her fun as well so that's perfect and oh my gosh listen to his beautiful playing it's like so pretty and he's like i'm so sad and instead i feel like briar is gonna be like i'm gonna put my stereo on so let me get her a stereo oh <gasps> 
And she's got her grades up. She's now a D student. Bruh, how low were your grades before? What were you doing? It worked. A little hacking and Briar is already a smart person and she has the grades to prove her. I'm enjoying the music, by the way. But we must go deeper. We gotta keep hacking. This is our thing now, okay? We are entering the matrix and using it for personal and financial gain. And we've got our little tree all lit. Forrest has come out at least to get involved. And I feel like I'll get him also to mention like, oh, by the way, Briar moved out because she's afraid of the rat. Maybe even though he's mad at her, he's like, maybe since she hates rats so much, this is also an idea from you guys. Why don't you get her a kitten for Christmas just to make sure that like the rat stays out of her room? And right now she's robbing money by hacking. Briar, you're too good at this. You're too good at this. Okay, every day we will hack our school performance. That is the new plan. And we will try and get ourselves up to an A grade ready for university. We have five days to achieve this. There's not a lot of time, but it's Christmas Eve, guys. That means y'all gotta head to bed, okay? You gotta head into your new room, Zane. And oh my gosh, school is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Okay, we're fully rebelling. Don't grow up until you've got it, okay? Enjoy being a teenager while you can. Uh, and he can't get into bed. I think it's because of the new bed. Okay, now he can get in. I switched the bed up. So the brothers are sharing a room with Whiskers number two. And Briar now has her own hacks room. And it feels a bit weird putting the presents outside. I'm not going to lie. But let's put some presents under the tree ready for the kids tomorrow. Maybe one of those presents might be a little kitty cat. Ooh, and we just lost while sleeping. We don't have the mean streak anymore. That's good because I didn't like her being mean. It was good because it helped us move out of our brother's room. But I'm glad she's not got the mean streak anymore, which means she also doesn't have the time to wear black thing. So when I add the kitty cat to the family, I think I will also give her a slightly updated appearance. <gasps> I know what I just realized. They have snow on Christmas. That's so freaking cute. Also, we don't actually get snow on Christmas very often in the UK. So it's a little bit overly whimsical, but it's still very cute. Actually, sometimes places in Scotland do. Oh, and somebody can't sleep. Somebody's too excited for Christmas and really has to pee. Oh, both brothers are up. Okay, what are you so excited about? You guys can't both wee at the same time. We have one bathroom in this house. I know it's foolish, but that is the situation. And the problem with the um the Christmas trees in this game is they take up so much freaking space. If I like shift this out into the garden, can I do Christmas here maybe? I mean, that is, that is tight. That is close. Can I do Christmas in the kitchen? A Christmas kitchen? I'm gonna put it here. I genuinely don't think this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Table, you can come back inside. And look, you're excited about presents, but the only way you get presents quickly is by going to sleep. So can you guys please go back to bed? Wait, you're up now too? Why are you up? Oh, okay, you're dwelling in emotions and really missing a pet. That makes me confident about the Christmas present we've got you. However, please get back to bed. <laughs> okay, it's winter fest. However, okay, now you're getting out of bed, which is fine. Do I have the opportunity to do a little Christmas morning hacks of my school grades, maybe? Not yet, but soon. Okay, you are excited about Christmas, though. I'm gonna let you go downstairs and get ready. You use the bathroom first. Retirement pay has come in, which is amazing. Look, oh, I need another toilet in this place. I wonder whether to build a bathroom downstairs somewhere. Right now, it's like Luke's room in this, but I think I'm gonna have to put a bathroom in because everyone needs to pee all the freaking times. So let's get rid of that. And let's just add a room bathroom. So it's really quick. And I like bathrooms with showers in. 7,000 pounds. We can afford it. And I always find the door really hard to see whenever I do this. Like, where is the door? Okay, it's there. Perfect. And just like that, kaboom, we have a downstairs bathroom. So Luke, why don't you head downstairs, use this. And you're really sad still. Okay. I'm excited to do a little kitten. I'm going to get her to get ready next. Have a little shower and stuff too. Wait, don't go down there. Use this one. You're using this one. Robin, no, we're trying to do Christmas. Okay, put the tacos away. Um, we will instead cook a grand meal. We'll do turkey dinner. And Forrest, you can help out. It's about time you learn to cook. Zane is given little whiskers. Whiskers the second. His little foodies, treaties, and morning attentionies. And okay, Forrest is feeling forlorn. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with everything? Life is pain. Just keep going. I'm going to say people like you. Look around. This is definitely because Briar has like moved out of his room without even checking in with him, I feel. Come and join cooking. Take your mind off things. And I am now going to have Briar. I feel like her style has moved on a bit. I want to give her like, she's been practicing her makeup and stuff. So I am going to go ahead and 
plan an outfit. Wait, is it plan outfit or change them? I right hand click and just go to enter cast so much. I don't even know what the correct thing to click here is. How bad is that? Okay, here we go, bro. So I'm going to do a little bit of a rework of her appearance. <laughs> She little she, she's not as small as she was though and she's definitely taller than robin but i am gonna go ahead and give her different eye makeup now so i'm gonna make her a little bit better with the eye makeup i'm still gonna keep like a slightly grungy appearance but just kind of like try a few different looks on her maybe try some green eyes green eyeshadow to kind of match her color gen because she's mid-teens now so that's kind of the point when you start like learning to get a little bit better at these things maybe it took me a little bit longer i'm not even gonna lie but i'm also like looking at different hairs for her because i'd like one that shows her face a little bit more i like this one but it doesn't have like the green recolor that her hair has so i'm just trying like other hair overlays because sometimes you get lucky i've had it in the past where i've got lucky and it's kind of still worked this one would be more like almost like certain parts ah. have the green dye and other parts don't but i kind of don't hate it i don't like it when it does the half and half over her head though something like that that looks really cool. I just want to try some different looks on her because she's a teenager. So I feel like this is when she'd probably experiment the most. Thinking that or like this. This has got like greens and also a few purples and like blues through it. I think that's a really cool new look on her. But she still looks like teeny, which is important because she is still a teenager. Or I can give her like the cute little headphones and go for this kind of green. She just hasn't had that kind of green hair before. She's kind of more of a turquoise green. And that is just too blue and too light. So it's one of those two options. And I personally really like this. It's almost like a seaweed effect. It's very cute. And I'm going to change out her clothes a little bit too. I want to keep the same vibes. I just want to try a different outfit on her. Because she's getting a little bit older. So I want to just like experiment. What is that dress? Why well, I've never seen this in my game before. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know what it's from, but it's cute. Because that's cute. I like that. With like the little top over it. Oh, there's a short version too. But like that kind of look. I think that's pretty cute. I think if we get her to uni, I'd like to like relax her look and maybe do some like little cargo pants or that kind of thing. But we're not there yet. We're still in like teen, high effort, high, like almost like fitting in with a certain aesthetic more. Which I think you do more as a teenager. So let's keep it like this. Now I'm going to give her a skirt. It's actually shorts if you look from the back because they are the greatest thing ever invented. And then if I'm switching up her look, I will do the same for Forrest as well. Forrest, who is so tall. In fact, I might do it as a second look for him. I just kind of want to give him like a comfy sort of navy look. Just like, I don't know, I'm going for like, I play the piano vibes with him. Also, his dad dress is quite formal. So I sort of feel like that would like rub off on him a little bit. So there we go. Nice little sweet piano boy vibes. Okay, so we've got her with her new look there. Everyone else is still in pajamas. Actually, no, Luke isn't as well. And I like how Joan cooking is everyone just clapping at Robin while she cooks. Like, they're encouraging her, like, you've got this, Robin. Stir that, foodies. Oh, by the way, at this point, Robin has lived for 73 days. Does that mean she's 73 years old? Maybe. Maybe she is. It's quite old. I would say it's probably older than I think she actually is. But 73 and the turkey is looking cute. Well, it's not. It's looking like cooked turkey, but hopefully it's going to taste good. Then we're going to do gifties. And oh my gosh, how many times are you going to season the turkey? The turkey is done. The turkey has disappeared. The turkey is there. Right, guys, it's turkey day. It's turkey time. And someone ain't sitting down. Oh my gosh. You were too slow there, I'm afraid. Too slow, Bri. It looks like you're not getting the seat. Although apparently Luke felt bad. He's like, I'll stand too. We'll have a stand in dinner. Look at you, little little degree head. And now your daughter's going to be getting a degree as well. I love this hair on her. I know the colors are a little bit like, but it kind of works. Because look, there's like a, a piece at the top that's like perfectly old colored. I love that hair on her. She's looking really cool. Ooh, and I've just remembered I've not invited Kai over. I don't know what's going on in Kai's life whatsoever, but I shouldn't just leave him out in the cold on Christmas Day. So we're going to invite him over. And then kids, when you finish your foodies, you can open your gift. So your first forest, go ahead and see what you get. Okay, the random Sims generated gift for you. Oh, you do not look very happy. <gasps> what was it? What did you hate so much? Who would give a future cube? Forest isn't particularly happy about this. You don't want the future cube. Okay, well, why don't you give that gift to Briar? Because that seems like tech. I feel like she might be more into it. You give her that, and we'll put another one under the tree for you. Kai's here. Hey, Kai. Okay, Zane, let's see what you get. And bro, you can open one as well. Although you do have an extra one. Because we did go ahead and get Forrest two rats at this point. And Briar's had zero pets, so... Okay, you got a slabler. Oh, you will actually love that. You're getting all tech. Look at this. You can do all of, like, your trolling on the forums. You can watch gaming live streams. Oh, you're gonna love that. 
That's a really good gift. And Zane got a, a sapphire. Okay, we might have a little scientist there in, in the future. I'm just glad you were happy with your gifty. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and make Briar's extra gifty, which is going to be a kitten. So the opposite of a rat is a cat. But what breed should we go for? Bengals are pretty cool. I want it to like feel matrixy. That's like follow the white rabbit though. And whichever cat we're going to give her will have peach eyes because the pets always have their eyes from the previous gen. And I think it has to be like a cuddly cat that's going to like cozy up with her like on her desk and stuff while she's hacking. So maybe not a cat that's got high energy. I might get her a Maine Coon because... Darcy, our car, is a Maine Coon and he's on Ali's desk all the time. So that could be a kind of perfect cut for somebody that's always at their desk. Let me apply the eyes first, actually. So I'm going to class this as pink and this as peach. Peach eyes. Okay. And then we're going to have to make it a kitten and we'll do it as a boy. So you can't put any clovies on kittens. And I'm going to call it Neo. Here's the hacking reference. Clearly, I'm just going all chips in on the matrix at this point. And we've already got the lazy trait, which is pretty good. I think clever is also good. I think that will suit her quite a lot as well. And let's do affectionate so that it sticks close to them. So that Neo is always like on and around Briar while she's like hacking and stuff. I think that's the perfect cat companion. So right now it's out in the cold. <laughs> we can't be having that. We're gonna can teleport it like into a present somehow. Or we'll just have them call it in and be like, Briar, your final gifty is here. So the rest of the gifts are for the boys. Because her, I mean, she already did well. <laughs> let's face it, she cleaned up this Christmas. But... Her final gifty is on its way in. At least I hope so. Slowly. Oh my gosh, look at it stomping in this. Oh, little Neo stomping in. Look, it's... Oh my gosh, I would literally be freaking out right now. Look how widely it walks. What an absolute legend. Oh my gosh, I love this whole cat already. Look at you announcing yourself. And this is the perfect way to keep whiskers out the room. We have a little kitten. It's good to get a kitten as well because then... In my head, if the kitten meets a rat when it's a kitten, maybe it won't chase it as a full-grown cat. And I also got a kitten because I'm getting her the pet quite young. So I want it to stay around for like as long as possible too. And I totally feel like Briar would also set up like um, a Simstagram for her pet cat. So I'm gonna like, oh, this is not the greatest pose I've ever seen. But okay, we'll start We'll start a pet-based Simstagram for Neo. <gasps> And Kaya just told us I am a parent. What? I have a niece or nephew and you just decided not to tell me this information? What the hell? I'm glad I invited you around. You truly are the evil brother. You're married? Where was my invite to this wedding? What? Kai is married to Zuri, who is an expert engineer. And they have a child called Jaden. No freaking way. We have a whole family to find in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Christmassy flavored episode where we've updated Briar's appearance. She is now mid-teen. We have four days left until we age her up. She also has a new best friend in the whole world, which is going to be Neo, her little hacking companion. She's gone straight back upstairs, back to her PC. It's not even 3 p.m. And she's like, yeah, I need some time. To hang out in my room now. And we've already hacked our grades up once. How many more times can I hack them before, <laughs> before I graduate and try and get into university? Let's see if she can manage it. And thank you guys so much for all of your ideas that I incorporated in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another one. Bye.